everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I have still not gotten my voice back. It's been about a week now, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video. It is a look at my first digital planner. It is not done. It's kind of just in progress right now. And I'm sorry about the coloring being kind of weird. I do have some lights on because it's getting dark. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through the kind of rough draft of my digital planner and where I'm seeing this going. And so it's right now just a work in progress. I showed you guys in my first impressions video kind of the basic layout here. I do have clickable links. All these top tabs are navigation tabs and same with down here, these are the months. So we got January through December. And so I designed this like bare bones design. And what I plan on doing is offering printables to you guys. I'm gonna set up an email list and have some sort of printables schedule for things. And so I'll offer freebies here and there. I'll have some paid things here and there, but I just really wanna get into the digital side of things. And so I'm really excited about getting this sort of set up and it's in a sort of working mode. This is the GoodNotes app that I'm using here. And so I just wanna walk you through my whole thing. So up here, it shows you all of the pages and how I set it up was I did the month pages first and then the top tabs are separate things. I also haven't labeled all of the top tabs on all of the pages yet because it's something I'll have to copy and paste over since I just added them on some of the tabs. And so I'll show you, um, I have the tabs labeled for a few. Today, year, YouTube goals. I set this one up as a weekly, you can see in there. And then November, December of this year, and then this will start 2019 down that side. And so my thought process here was I would go between you know, dailies for days where Olivia's in school and then weeklies to set up like a weekly overview. Some days I'll do dailies. So that's kind of my setup for that. So walking through the entire thing, everything I've used so far has been just free printables that I have found and things I found online. I do have some pages in here that I just scanned in from the planners and stuff that I already have. So like I have a fitness planner from Equal Press. I scanned those pages in so I can actually use them in here. And so going back to the top here, I've got my months set up with these tabs on the side. Then I move into the daily pages, which I'll talk about. Some extra pages in case I find other dailies I plan on swapping out. Got another few pages in here for various things like fitness, cleaning, some to-do listing. And then I pop into the year. So the yearly is right here. So I've got 2018, 2019. Coming back to my pages, I've got some habits tracking pages, some goal tracking pages, a special dates page, bill tracking, blank pages for adding other pages, some social media and YouTube stuff, some goals, and then moving into the weekly pages. So right now I just have it set up. The next few weeks are just gonna be these weekly pages. It takes two pages to complete a week. And I customized this off of free printables, which I'll show you. Then I have the November and December. And also with December, I have an elf on the shelf set up so that we can play Elf on the Shelf. I also have a passwords list, some pages for notes and checklists, and then also a gratitude journal here, which I will start this after my current paper gratitude journal runs out. And then at the end, I just have a blank page for whenever. And so that kind of walks you through all 82 pages, how I kind of have it set up. And like I said, all of it is not stuff I designed at this point in time, except the bare bones of the whole thing. So here you can have a title page for whatever, and it takes two fingers to scroll over. And so on this page, I actually masked the paper. Actually, I don't think this digital paper was free. Uh, let's see, I'll show you guys. This white piece is movable. So I just put that on top so I can use it. But I actually made this as a mask using Procreate, which I followed a Boho Berry tutorial to do that. And then going into um, the 2019 calendars here, I did mark in the holiday days. And so it's just January, February, March, April, May. They're all set up the same way. And what I did is I have a list down here of days one through 31. And I'm gonna put blog posts in here. I'm gonna really commit to trying to blog at my scrapbooking blog. And um, I'm gonna put those things down here. So when I finish a project, I'll add it to this, this list and then work on the blogging side of things. And so I have every month set up the same way. And these are just both free printable things. I got these free printable calendars by just Googling free monthly spreads or something like that. And then I found this list on another different printable, which I really liked. And I just Googled 
for free planner printables. I also looked on Pinterest for free planner printables and got on a bunch of people's email lists and I found a bunch on different blogs and I really love how everybody is super generous by sharing their beautiful things. I do want to have some sort of showcase of, you know, showing off my favorite people. I'll probably incorporate that into some of these planner videos or on my blog or both. I haven't decided yet, but I definitely want to showcase the people who are sharing these awesome printables. So going back down, they're all set up the same way. And so we get to December and then I move into the daily pages. And here I have one that's just kind of set up for a day where Olivia might be in school in the morning. And I thought what I would do instead of like using the check boxes, checking things off, I thought I would um, use the highlighter. I ended up just picking the color and I can highlight them as I'm using them. And like, I see the screen dipping in. This screen is so flimsy and I'm so scared I'm gonna end up breaking this thing. Let's go ahead and go back to this. So I set up the hours, like when I'm gonna be doing things, when we'll take a walk together. And then I didn't use anything down here, but this is just kind of a setup to manage the days where Olivia's in school part of the day. But I have a bunch of different ones. So this one happens to be from Wine Life. And then there's another one I found that I could use and I could just pick whichever one that I want to use for the day. They're just various ones I found. And here's one I just set up and I use some Miss Kate Cuttables freebie things. And so each one of these is a little PNG file. And then I also set up an appointments, to do's, a schedule, title up at the top. I found this one that I really like as well. And then more spaces for more of those. And then I also have a Sunday checklist. I kind of do the same old things on Sundays. And so I thought I would be really intentional about some of the things like the me time. I could be more intentional about using that. And then I also found this health and fitness one. This one's from Emily Lay. And then a food and exercise log. This one might be day designer. And then the ones I scanned in from Inkwell Press. That's also the Inkwell Press. I like this fitness planner page the best. And I highlighted the ones where I wanted to make sure I'm hitting my steps those days and getting 30 minutes worth of exercise in. And then I can add in my steps. I thought I would write in my steps on those pages. And then I also have this cleaning list that's from Lime Life. I thought I could start checking things off of there and getting into a more streamlined cleaning routine. I also found this cleaning schedule I liked. And then I also have a thing to keep track of blogs. So. I thought that I would put whatever thing needs to be blogged and then I can make sure I'm doing all the workflow and checklisty things that go into it, like editing the photos and on and on. And I'll have each one of those at the top and I can check them off as I go. And then I have a section for my Scrap Master's Paradise blog, just things that need to be done. It's more like behind the scenes and maintenance design work type of things. And I have one for my Sammy Sweet Life blog as well. So I just need to update the sidebars for both of those. And then I have a brain dump page, it's just a checklist. And then I move into the year at a glance. And so what I did for these is I have a little code down here at the bottom for the highlighting. So I have project life that's done, project life that I've done in the digital that needs to be printed. And I also marked off the no school days for Olivia. And so with this one, I'm just using the highlighter. I'm just tapping over. And that's how I'm making the color on those. And then here it's just you know, no school days up at the top as well for 2019. For the most part, I've just used the yearly in my paper planners for keeping track of project life. And now I can do it on here just as easily. And then I have some habit trackers and these are yearly. So it goes January through December, which I really like. And then I can either just like fill in the box or something, I don't know, check it off. I don't know how I'm gonna actually work on marking them off but I thought it would be great to keep track of something the whole year that I'm working towards. There are a few things I really want to get better about, one of which is scrapbooking and blogging, and then one of which is also doing my steps every day. And so I put a couple of these in here. I've got three, so I can have each one set up. You actually write the habit in, and I haven't really thought about this a whole lot, but I want to have some goals that I work towards every month, and so I put that page in as well. And here's a goal setting worksheet. I think these are from Day Designer. And then again, I think this is from Day Designer. Birthdays and anniversaries, so you can write in all the important dates. Almost all of our bills are on auto pay, except a few that I do keep track of. And I, it's nice to just, you know, mark them as needed. And then blank pages to add in some more. And then I've got this um, Lime Life social media tracking one. I want to get better about keeping track of my numbers and stuff from month to month. And also keeping track of my earnings from month to month. It's just something I haven't really kept track of very well. And I always think 
especially like at the end of the year, I always want to know more of the breakdown. And I know I can go into my analytics and see some of that. But it'd be nice to be able to just have a page dedicated to it. I used to have one in my planner before, like years ago, but I just don't do it anymore. And then a page to write notes, like as I'm editing videos, I've been writing notes here and then just erasing them. And then a couple of more goal tracking things. This one's from homeprintables.com. And I don't know who this one's from. It might be an Inkwell Press one, but I'm not exactly sure on that one. I really like some of these. These came from Jessica Marie Designs blog. She has a bunch of different um, like weekly spreads. So this is just one of the weekly spreads here that's got the columns. I just love the colors and the fonts that she used for things. And they're really beautiful. So I used this for a week of Thanksgiving. Olivia had one day of preschool and I used a, oops, and I used a time block for that day. Other than that, I just keep track of a couple of random things each week. I added a couple of the Miss Kate Cuttables. I thought they were super cute to make it a little bit festive. Didn't really have a whole lot to plan on this holiday week. And then moving on, I made this spread on my own using some of her same printables. And so I thought when Olivia has weekdays in preschool, just in the mornings, I thought I could mark out her preschool time and then also have a running to-do list. And then I also added the meals way down here, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use this. It seems to be really, really tiny. I really like that the main focus is the um, weekdays, Monday through Friday. That's when I'm most productive. And then the weekends are just, you know, chill and family times. But sometimes we have things that we have planned out. And so I have these other boxes, which came from a different weekly printable of hers. I just put the Saturday and Sunday boxes down at the bottom. And then I also took these pieces from that sidebar section. I just cut them out and I'll do videos showing you how to like copy and paste everything into here. Um, I just copied and pasted and arranged things to fit on this one page spread. And I don't know how much I'm going to use, you know, this part of the meals part, but I love this so I can have the productive time to plan for my appointments and things to happen during those times too. So it's nice to have the time sections in there. And then just a running to-do list of things to do, things to film, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I can write, you know, the focus, the goals, the notes from the week, things that I might need to write down. And so I copied this one a bunch of times. There's that week and then more weeks here. I did that a bunch because it's one I'm going to try to tweak and make work for me every week. And then I'm moving into just my November and December for 2018. I just have a basic layout set up. I did figure out how to make my own really pretty titles using fonts. This program has typing, like you can add a text box, but the fonts are very basic. They're nothing really pretty like this. And so I used a different app. I'll, of course, I'll do tutorials on all the things I'm talking about. This is just a really quick overview. And again, I have the blogging list. I actually didn't work on it all this month. I was just starting to set this up in the end of November. And then moving into December, I wrote out holiday days, visits, appointments, and things on here as well. And again, I'm gonna try to get back to the blogging aspect. So I have these spaces for blogging things and then our elf on the shelf that we're gonna be doing. And then passwords, I actually have two password things in here. I plan on putting my passwords in here because I'm one of those people that tries to use different passwords for everything and then I forget my password. I'm always resetting passwords. So I do have like a master sheet written out, but it'd be nice to have it in here as well for some of the ones that I'm constantly having to grab. And then I've got some notes. I think this is a day designer page, actually, I think this is a day designer page too, this passwords, the notes, and uh, making a list, checking it twice. I think these are all day designer. And then also the gratitude. I thought I would start using the gratitude when my current gratitude paper journal runs out. I think I started it mid-year, so it'll be mid-year of 2019, then it runs out. But I went ahead and added 12 pages to here. So just have the gratitude in there. And again, I can put the pretty titles on the top and add some cute little things. So far, I'm just loving this setup. So I've got 12 of these pages and then I think I just have a blank page at the very end. And then that's it. So that's my last page there. It's nothing super fancy or sophisticated. It's just getting my needs met. Going back to the other page. Once I really get these titles and sections hammered out, I will copy and paste all of those titles. I just wrote those in this program using those text boxes, but I didn't copy it and paste it to every page because after these two months, I'm not gonna need these two tabs and I'll probably rearrange the tabs and have them work better for me. And then down the side, I can always add more tabs. If I wanna move these ones up, I can add more tabs. 
But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my setup. I'm pretty much just using everything free printables at this time. I've made some of the titles using Procreate and the brush strokes. I've also just typed some up with other programs. So I'm just diving into this and I'm loving it so much. I apologize in advance if you're totally not into planning and digital planning. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that on this channel, I think, coming up, because right now it's super exciting and new for me, and I really like talking about it. So I hope that you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.